Hello from Chinature.com. This is Mark Josie. Today I want to share this new uh, paintball marker that just came in today. That's right. This is the Spider EMR5. Let's take a look at the box. It's, it's not a very fancy um, hard shell case or something like that, like the Tiberius, because um, well, it's not the same kind of price too. <laughs> Okay, but uh, it's also not so cheap. It's around the 200 something, uh, like over 250 bucks, but lower than 300 bucks. So, yeah. So that's the box. Basically, there's a warning and stuff. And uh, at the back, you see the diagram showing you how the gun is like. Okay, so a little bit of introduction here. Um, <clears throat> the, the EMR5 is the... Uh, actually a magazine fed paintball marker so meaning that it uses uh, the magazine to feed and and you can also have the hopper set up so it's a dual feeding system you can use both and um, it's very easy to change from one to another you just rotate the barrel and it will change so it's very similar sort of the system uh, with the Tiberius 9.1 kind of thing it, no screws required and it's very very easy to do and also uh so today is my first time handling this uh marker and right now i want to point this out to you guys uh where okay here <clears throat> warning not a toy okay you don't call a paintball marker a toy uh for those of you those people who are calling these toy guns you need to actually really understand the power of these guns. They fire at 300 FPS or so with normal paintball, but you can also tune the power up to fire even harder, but they don't recommend it because it's not uh, okay for the paintball games. But then I have tried using paintball markers like the Tiberius um, T8.1, uh, T9.1, and I tuned them to shoot uh, very heavy balls they're like these I've, I've been shooting these uh, 0 0.68 caliber breaker balls and these balls are extremely hard and they weigh uh, six grams each a normal paintball weight about three to three point one grams and these are six grams I'm getting 256 FPS with these balls and it's outputting a lot of power and uh, you can see my other video on this and actually it, it can break through uh, tin cans and stuff like that so it's a very deadly power so you cannot treat these markers as toys they're very dangerous if used uh, not properly so just a warning here okay so now what you get in the box let's open the box up okay there we go so the box opens up and you get this oh my god there's the marker inside <laughs> ripped off <laughs> so basically you see the marker is white and uh, it's invisible too you get a pack of uh, warning and warranty cards and stuff like that so basically it's invisible and it's hard to get anyway <laughs> so let's get the let's get the physical marker out. Ah, there you go. Ta-da! Okay, this is the physical marker. You can see the cord here. I'm still charging the battery, but no worry. I will take the battery out and show you guys. Okay, so this marker, the E E M R five, stands for the electric. Uh, yeah, electric. So it's. Uh, powered up with a 9.6 volt battery right here and actually the fun thing is I thought it's using the airsoft kind of battery so uh, you charge it with the airsoft uh, battery charger and stuff but actually you don't this is like normal 9, nine volt batteries uh, they're like these you guys seen these right like these so I don't know if this one works just say 9 volt, uh, yeah, 9 volt, mm -hmm. and this one is rechargeable. The one that came with the gun is also rechargeable, and um, it's, maybe it's a custom made battery that output 9.6 volt instead of the 9 volt. So I don't know, um, I need to test, but maybe that one will work too um, because they're all about the same and they fit. Okay, so this gun is pretty crazy looking. 
Um, you can see that it looks like an M4 kind of thing. Okay, you can take the magazine out, and the mag holds should hold 10 rounds of first strike uh, rounds, or it sh shoot paintball or whatever balls you like. And as you can see, okay, right now I'm trying to stick it in, and it would not fit properly, not go in properly. It needs to be fit in the same spot. So do that slowly, or else it will chip paint or whatever. Okay, if you just go fast. Take it out fast, you can end up jamming this at the wrong angle, so you need to really do it slowly and avoid um, breaking paints and stuff like that. Okay, so right here is the is the air um, hose or whatever you call it. So here is where you put the tank, just like any normal paintball marker. And uh, that's one thing that is not so good about these guns. They have this thing here that takes uh, the realism away. With things like the Tiberius T, uh, T4, 4.1, uh, 9.1, they have this tank in stock. So the tank goes here, and there's no line going here, and it makes the whole thing much more realistic looking. One good thing though, um, one thing you may not know is that this gun actually comes with the handle, and there's the rear sight and the front sight. And it's functional. You can actually go like that and aim. Okay? Even if the hopper here, okay? You can see right here. The hopper, the hopper right here is actually offset to the right side. So it doesn't block your uh, aiming. You can still aim with this gun like a normal uh, rifle. And here is the mag release. You press here and take this out. And it's only accessible on the right side. Okay? Now this is the trigger, very uh, soft. And honestly, I haven't fired the gun yet because I was still charging the battery, but right now I'm not unplugging it yet, but I will do it later on, okay, in a while. Here is the stock. The stock is extendable. You can basically go like that, okay. And also the stock is secured by one screw right here, which is screwed on by uh, using a screwdriver. Very easy to do. The barrel, very easy to take out. Uh, let me show you. Okay. To take out the barrel, it's just like this. Turn, and it takes it out. And okay. now you can put it back in. And there's even the markings there that shows you how to, uh, like, where to turn. Now it's feeding from the, uh, feeding from the uh, magazine. Now it's feeding from the hopper. Magazine. Hopper. Wow. On the fly change. Very easy to do. Here you have rails on the top, the side, and the bottom. So basically you can mount any shit you want. And uh, this rail thing, I mean the handle thing, is all metal. Everything here. Okay, let me try to take this out. You can remove this and put whatever you like there. Maybe a scope, uh, red dust side, or whatever. Whatever you like. Okay? And the sight here is adjustable too. And you got a real working charging handle. I'll show you if I did cocked it. Anyway, I, I think I need to power the gun in order to shoot it. But yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I need to power the gun up to shoot the uh, thing. But right now, um, I just cocked it. Anyway, you can see this bolt does work. Okay. And what else? Uh, the lower receiver, plastic, the grip, plastic, upper receiver is uh, metal, the rails and stuff is metal, the barrel is metal, the mag is plastic, the stock is plastic, and you don't have any rubbery texture right here. So, yeah. It's not a very high-end kind of mag feeding marker, but it's actually a pretty good start for anyone who likes mag feed and new sim kind of thing. Okay, guys. So... I'm still charging the battery, but now, you know what, let's get to it and try it out. <laughs> so you see, just a cord here to uh, charge, you unplug, okay. Now, this is very nervous, because my first time trying out this gun, and I haven't even started to uh, use it, and this is my first time handling it, and I want to show you guys on video how... Um, 
it works. So I want to show you like as if you were the one unboxing the gun. And I really don't know what to do. So <laughs> let's try. Okay. Here you got a sling attachment, you see. And this is very basically just slip on while you install the stock. The stock, the different position, one, two, three, one, two, three, okay, four, four or five position, okay, pretty nice. And the grip is kind of big. Um, it's not like a pistol grip style because you have the battery inside and a circuit board. So it can't be really big. And right here, you see, Spider and yeah, Mile 5, and then the rails. It it really does look sexy though. Um, like, if you don't really mind the uh, make like this, okay? It, it does look good. And it feels heavy. I mean, like the gun is not cheap plastic -y kind of feeling. It feels good in hand. And it does have the realism part when you handle it. It's not really cheap and toyish like, and it's heavy. Okay. The barrel, I know some of you may be um, seeing this online. Let me just, whoops, I tossed it out already. Oh no. <laughs> okay, the barrel here, right here, okay. This spot, it comes with an orange tip, which is not a painted tip. I just removed it in like two seconds. <laughs> it's a rubber band kind of thing or plastic rubber kind of thing uh, that just goes on here. So all you need to do is take a knife or something and then go pick it out and the whole thing will come out. So I cut that thing uh, and like I used a knife to cut it and it falls out. So yeah, very easy to remove. This is the front side. It works and you got a little peak, peak hole whatever you call that, go sight right here. Okay, so actually the rifle itself is very sturdy and really, not joking, the mag is kind of sturdy, but you still feel a little bit of wobble like that if you shake it, okay? Okay, so let me try to power this up. Take a look, ta-da, whoa! <laughs> not joking, but whoa, look at that. You see, close up. Okay guys, hope that you can see it. Can you see the, oh no, it's so hard to show you this. There you go. Change mode. Three round bursts. Six round burst and full auto. Come on, full auto. Oops. Full auto. Okay. Done. Okay, so. And. Okay, so single shot. Full auto. Okay, we will use single shot. Shot. Okay, so single shot. So how the hell do you? Okay, I take the safety off. So let's try this out. Okay, fired. Cool. So if you don't pull the bolt, bolt, you just hear this. If you pull this, harder hitting. Cool. The trigger pull. It's mega light. It's really light, okay? Okay, by clicking the top switch and holding it, it turns the gun off. Okay, so I haven't fired a gun before. Let's try it out. Here goes a Ninja Tank uh, 13 CI, 13 cubic inch tank. Okay, hope there's no leak. It's a new marker. So if there's leak, I'm gonna like really bitch at it, so. Okay, guys. Let's try this out. The manual said that you only need to screw it in and there's no on off button or whatever, so I'll do it. Okay, this is nervous. I mean, like I have this kind of fear 
for tanks sometimes because I handle some marker and they do leak and they don't do well so I hope this thing is gonna stay good oh it did okay no bad things happened so far wow nothing explodes very nice okay let me try to handle it and tell you if oops something bad happened Ooh, what is this oh no what the hell Okay, dude, something just fell out and I have no idea what the hell this is. Oh, I get it. Right here. Okay. Something just fell out. And it should be from the stock right here because I see this. I see this from the stock here and this is the other piece. So, let me just try to fit that in again. I have no idea why this thing fell out, but... Okay. <laughs> anyway scary shit so yeah um actually <laughs> this thing just fell out while i operated and um okay let me try to like point it here cool i can aim my uh my stock is actually doing what it's supposed to do and the tank is not hitting my rib cage i'm using the ninja 13 cubic inch tank pretty cool nice okay now fire some empty shots and see if it works. Okay, so turn the gun on, off, save. Okay, done. Okay, guys, let's try this out. You can see the marker is powered. Right here, you see the light? Yeah, I really like the high-tech kind of look from this marker. Okay, so you need to pop the gun. And... Whoa, shit. So loud. <laughs> Yeah, I loaded a mag with uh, rubber balls and uh, turned out that uh, I haven't set up my range yet, so <laughs> too bad. Um, I will do the shooting in another video, though, um, in another time. So I emptied the um, stuff out. And now I'll show you how the tank is rem removed. So there's no ammo inside the gun. It's very safe right now. And um, let's see if I can just turn this. Okay, power off. And the manual say you can just turn it like so. No, there's no way to turn it. So, okay. I'll fire a few shots and then I'll see if I can turn the tank, okay? Holy crap, it's impossible. This is impossible to empty the. How do you. Okay, how do you turn the tank out? guys so <laughs> just a little footage here I uh, actually asked uh, my vendor how do you turn the tank out <laughs> I like kind of whoa what the hell do I do and um, he said you need to keep shooting the gun while you turn the tank so you do it together at the same time so now I'm gonna do it and shoot single shot so hope it will work ready okay Impossible. <laughs> okay. Ready, go. There we go. Got it. Whew. Super loud. That discouraged me from using this gun now. Kind of scary. <laughs> okay. So basically, it's like you need to shoot three or five shots, and then you keep shooting, and stuff like that okay so my ninja tank is out and the o-ring is fine okay good <laughs> that was quite an experience guys so yeah the okay let me just turn off the gun okay so yeah the gun amazing uh loud <laughs> and my uh, final conclusion right now after handling it for the first day I would say that I would not like the gun to be tuned to be mega mega hard hitting unless I want to really finish the whole tank on that session then I would do it maybe um, 13 CI is way more than enough for me for indoor shooting but anyway yeah uh, handling this gun was like whew, scary shit how do I remove the tank and then you keep, keep shooting it oh wow I really would love a uh, on-off 
ASA, and that will be much better than just keep shooting the gun to turn it off. But, well, yeah, it's loud. It, uh, it should be powerful. Now, I don't know how hard this thing shoots right out of the box, but should not go over 300 FPS. And uh, I'll do chrono test later on and so on with you guys so you can see it. So stay tuned for my future video and hope you like it. Remember to subscribe and like. Bye-bye.